Welcome CAA football fans. Thanks for tuning in for our CAA football TV schedule show. I'm your host Bobby Broyles, joined by a familiar face here in the FCS world, Tim McDonald, who comes here from covering FCS football at the Sports Network. Tim, welcome. I know you follow the league very closely and we're really excited to have you here. Yeah, no, thank you. Uh, thanks for having me. Obviously, I've been around CAA football. I've covered FCS on a national level and I'm really excited to start. It should be, should be a good season. Tim, the conference continues to build its ever-expanding national exposure in 2013 with a slate of 18 games set to air on the NBC Sports Network and Comcast Sportsnet regional affiliates this season. Five of those games will air on NBC Sports Network and 13, of course, on the Comcast Sportsnet regional networks. More updates on that regional coverage will be announced in the coming weeks, so stay tuned to CAFootball.com and our official Every Day is Saturday blog for updates. Now, a couple of cool additions this year on the digital lineup, the NBC Sports Network will be live streaming its live event coverage on NBC Sports Live Extra, which can be accessed online and via a mobile and tablet app. And we'll also be bringing you more information leading up to the season on how to access select games on CAA.TV, the league's online video streaming platform. Now, with all this in mind, I know you are ready to dive into all some right. of these television matchups this year. So, we kick off our national TV coverage September 7th with the Route 1 rivalry as Delaware plays host to Delaware State. Yeah, it should be a good one. Like you said, it's the second year on NBC Sports Network. Delaware, Delaware State, that Route 1 rivalry. It should be a really good game. Uh, we get to see the new-look Blue Hens and their new head coach, Dave Brock. Another exciting season. It should be a good one. Absolutely. And then on uh, September the 14th, Comcast Sportsnet will feature Rhode Island against CAA football newcomer UAlbany. Yeah, and another new look team. We get to see the Great Danes of Albany in the third week of the season. Obviously, Albany has that new stadium, Bob Ford Field. Uh, it should be very exciting. It should be a great turnout for that game. Um, and obviously, Rhode Island trying to bounce back from a tough season, you know, but at the same time, both want to get off to a great start in the CAA. The next week brings us our initial look now at the Stony Brook Sea Wolves when they square off against Villanova on Comcast Sportsnet. And this one's a little bit a, a little bit of irony here working into this. Obviously, we know that was a first round matchup in the playoffs last year. Stony Brook co-champs of the Big South in 2012. Villanova co-champs of the CAA, but they won the automatic qualifier. Villanova, I think you know they kind of want that revenge factor. Mm -hmm. This is an early season game. A lot of big expectations early for both teams. How are they going to react? And it should be a really good game. As we flip the calendar Octo to October, we begin with an exciting matchup between New Hampshire and Towson, a series that has featured a ton of scoring as of late. Yeah, you know, the last two seasons, this game has absolutely been a marathon. Uh, both teams have gotten out to a fast start. Two years ago, Towson took New Hampshire at Towson. Last year, Towson, of course, in the last game of the season, absolutely whooped New Hampshire. Both teams' offenses are just very explosive, so it should be another great one. Then October the 12th will be a big one across CA football as in-state rivals James Madison and Richmond collide as part of a TV triple header that day. Yeah, it should be another good one. Again, uh, two quarterbacks of these teams, Michael Birdsong, kind of taking over that JMU offense. Uh, JMU got a new offensive coordinator. And then, of course, uh, Michael Strauss at Richmond uh, came on late last season, and Richmond had another great offensive year. Uh, both of these teams, it, it, it's October, but it's going to have big implications. Then later that evening, it will be Villanova traveling to take on the Towson Tigers on the NBC Sports Network. Yeah, nice little double header here. Uh, it should be another good one. Obviously, Villanova and Towson last year's game was great. Uh, reigning FCS award winner, uh, Jerry Rice award winner, I should say, John Robertson of Villanova. He's back at the helm. Everyone wants to see what he's going to do. Has he progressed as a passer? Has he progressed as a runner? Um, and then, of course, Vill uh, Towson, you have Terrence West, and you have a new quarterback under center. And Even though, like I said, even though it's early, both of these teams want to get the CAA schedule started right. And as we make our way into November now, we've got a doubleheader on the ninth as JMU heads to Durham to take on New Hampshire on the NBC Sports Network. Yeah, another great matchup. Uh, JMU defensively, Stephon Robertson, the reigning CAA Defensive Player of the Year. Uh, he's going to spearhead that defense, and it's going to be great to see how they do it against that New Hampshire offense. You've got R.J. Harris, Nico Storetti, the SOS Express. Uh, it's another great battle. It's really a chess match between the JMU defense and the New Hampshire offense. Then the second half of the day's doubleheader on Comcast Sportsnet features William & Mary playing host to Delaware. Yeah, it should be another great matchup. Again, both of these teams kind of had disappointing seasons last year, and they're both trying to bounce back. William & Mary, obviously Luke Rhodes, they have a couple guys on defense who they're excited about. They don't have that steady signal caller, but again, it's an exciting time. They're trying to figure out the offense. And then Delaware, you have Andrew Pierce, very talented back. New head coach Dave Brock, as we mentioned, and they're just exactly trying to get 
trying to get the tracks moving too, so it should be another great game. Tim, we wrap up the 2013 regular season TV schedule with Rivalry Week on November 23rd. The day features a rematch of last season's thriller between JMU and Towson, which will air on NBC Sports Network once again in 2013. And we all remember that game last year, a 13-10 thriller. JMU scored late to basically seal the deal. Uh, it was a thriller, but you could also call it was a heartbreaker for Towson. Uh, Duke safety Dean Marle, he comes up with a huge game-winning interception, his second of the afternoon. Again, it should be another great matchup. Uh, Daquan Scott, the running back for JMU, and Terrence West, the running back for Towson, they were held to four yards per carry. I expect another battle in the trenches. It should be another good one. Both teams kind of struggling for offenses. Obviously, at the end of the season, you got to think it's going to have playoff implications. Should certainly be another great one in Towson, Tim. And as we wrap up today's CA Football TV schedule show, it may be the preseason, but the fall will be here before we know it. And there's a lot for our fans to look forward to sure. coming up in the next few months. We have CAA Football Media Day at M&T Bank Stadium, home of the Super Bowl champion, the Baltimore Ravens. It's coming right around the corner, so it should be, should be a good one. Absolutely. On Wednesday, July the 24th, live show with tons of interviews with our league's coaches and players. We'll also have team-by-team -team previews shortly after that as part of our 11 Teams in 11 Days series in August. And then I know you're excited. I'm, Can't wait. I'm definitely excited about this one. CA football will be coming to campus this fall. We'll be traveling to one school every week this season, and we'll have more on that for our fans coming soon. We hope you're getting as excited as we are about the upcoming season. I know you're excited, oh, I can't wait. I'm ready to go right now. What's the season starting? Let's go. A couple more months, uh, unfortunately. Uh, uh, but... For all the latest information around CAA football, visit us at cafootball.com. And on the league's official every day is Saturday blog at cafootball.wordpress.com. Thank you for tuning in. See you at CA Football Media Day next week.